Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aquarius. Keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. All of my information is in the description box below this video. Click on the word more and everything will drop down for you. Okay, Aquarius. Let's begin the message for Aquarius, please. Oh, a very similar message that I received the other day for myself personally. Very important to do. I surrender to a power greater than me. We are all being tested. We are being challenged and tested and a lot of things from our past are coming back up around again as the cycle of life. Um, and we're getting a chance to see things that we didn't see before and maybe make new choices. Uh, but it is important to surrender to a power greater than us as far as whatever is presenting itself currently. Let's dive a little deeper into this for you. Okay. have dissociation. Ah, so it's important not to check out at this time, Aquarius. There's so much to be gained as far as wisdom and self-awareness and understanding of why you had certain experiences in your past and maybe why you're re-experiencing them now. Dissociation is a coping mechanism we develop in a very younger years so a lot of times we do this without even being fully conscious that we are leaving our body we are just checking out completely from life experiences when they get to be when the emotions get to be um intense and difficult to navigate through instead of checking out or dissociating surrender to a power greater than you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was a little, uh, we might be switching cards here. Hmm. New beginnings, yep. Oh, we are all getting a new chance for a new beginning. It's also important to try something new and different. Kind of like my hair color. You know, I decided Let's go with the silver. Let's see what this looks like. Can always change it back. Light and temptation. Okay. Oh, interesting. Truth at the bottom of the deck. So we want to know what the temptation is. The temptation most likely is to check out, dissociate, not be present with life and with what life is presenting. There's something very brand new, a new start, a new beginning, 
opening up for you. And it is opening up for you to connect deeper to your light, to the light energy, the light codes that are coming. She's reaching out that are coming onto the planet, waking up our senses, waking up dormant energy that lives inside the body, waking up our consciousness and waking up our very DNA. The temptation when things get heated, when life, the energies of life become a bit intense uh and can feel scary or shocking is to all right just check out dissociate when you do that you miss out on the wisdom and the truth that these energies light is information okay darkness is hidden information if you hide from the information, you're not going to gain the truth and the wisdom that need, that you need going forward, especially the truth and wisdom that helps you overcome obstacles and challenges. <clears throat> surrender to a power greater than me. I surrender to a power greater than me. You can do this and maybe you think that you are doing this surrendering but spirit is saying that you still have a, a habit of dissociating so pay attention to that pay attention to when you start to go into daydreamy foggy land and you're not present with life or you spend time um, just checking out, going on social media or watching TV or whatever it is for you. Yeah, the tower, the moon, seven of wands, seven of cups. All right. There is a fear here, Aqu uh, Aquarius. Hmm. You are very open for new beginnings very open for a new start, a new opportunity, a new beginning. You're eager even. And and you are open and welcoming that. So that is good. When it comes to connecting to the light, which is connecting to your emotional body, your intuitive senses and the duality within you and that surrounds you. I feel that there are some really powerful and an intense emotion still lingering from your past that is making it really, really difficult to surrender to. Like, I don't want to, no, I don't want to go there again. I don't want to feel that. No, 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 no. And the more that you pull away from you yourself, the, the stronger the energy gets. It's following you. It is a part of you that is like knocking on your door. Hello, Aquarius. Open up. Open up. Let me out. It's an inner child part. And we have the tower with temptation. You realize it's just like me the other day, not wanting to, having this deep fear about going to the dentist. <laughs> it's so weird. I mean, I don't have that many fears, but apparently universe finds those that can really trigger that fear. And I'm like, I, I know I have to go, but I don't want to. I'm scared. Surrender. Surrender to a power greater than you. The truth will be revealed with regards to choices and decisions you've made in the past, uh, most likely while you were dissociating, checked out, or just too afraid to make a commitment or a true um, choice based in your favor from your desires of the heart. You have a big spirit team that's that's assisting you through this emotional time. Uh, it may be opening up the heart wounds all over again and, and inner child work, but so important to just allow it 
allow it, allow it to, the, the, the light energy to flood into you, to open up that which has been hidden from you. The moon can be the subconscious, the blind spots, the areas that we're not fully conscious of that are trying to make themselves known and conscious to you. All right. And I'm sorry if I, I don't think I did, but if I called you Gemini, it's a long story to that, but <laughs> Aquarius is who this reading is for. We're going to get one last message for you. Um, and if you are liking this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. Thank you for liking the videos and subscribing. It does help support me and the channel and the growth of this channel. And I am very grateful for all of you who do take the time to click that thumbs up button. All right. Advice for Aquarius, please. Yeah. All right. We have stripping illusions. Who else got this? Hmm. Uh, cancer. So if you have cancer in your chart or if you're curious about the cancer reading, maybe check that out as well. Stripping illusions. Yeah. The moon. Light trying to strip illusions so don't check out see the truth of what the universe is showing you please it's not as painful as your mind is telling you let's read this from the book and i understand it, it is intense times energetically right now and if you feel collective energy like i do who boy a lot of people are going through a big purge of release, letting go, and moving forward with new understanding, new energy. All right, stripping illusions. The lotus flower is a funny plant. It flourishes in the muck and mud. Apparently, in spite of the muck of its birth, beautiful petals open up layer after layer, revealing more and more of its inner beauty. You are being called to strip away illusion after illusion from your life. You're being asked to enable your true essence to shine through. Allow layer after layer of false beliefs, cluttered thinking, unfulfilling relationships, chaotic environments go by the wayside to reveal the perfect essence of your core self. This process is challenging at best. We tend to hold on to the illusions we have created, thinking they keep us safe. All they really do is blind us to our true beauty and potential. This card is calling you to look your truth in the face and not let illusions cloud your view of the true beauty of yourself and others. Truly, there's something important that the universe is here to show you right now, Aquarius. So surrender, surrender, and welcome this new beginning, this change. That is what I have for you this week, Aquarius. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.